settling in, feeling your sits bones rooting down into your mat, feeling your legs comfortable, whether that's cross-legged or stretching out in front of you. And just take a moment to bring your shoulders to your ears and then letting them roll down your back. Beautiful. Take a moment to close your eyes and just get yourself grounded. You do a full body stretch today. It's always good to start with our roots. Start with feeling those sits bones rooting down into the mat. And then connecting with your beautiful breath that life force that keeps us alive, breathing in all the fresh energy around you and then breathing back out. Maybe doing a scan of your body to see where you're holding tension today, where there might be tightness. And just be very gentle with yourself as we go through these poses. So anything that's not feeling right for you, just don't do it. We'll start by bringing our fingertips to the floor, letting your fingers rest on the floor on the mat. And then just taking your head and tilting it over to the left. Really a nice stretch along the right side of your neck making any adjustments to your neck and your chin, make it feel right for you. And then we'll reach the right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. And then slowly just coming over to the left, keeping your sits bones rooting down to the mat. Maybe tipping your elbow up a little bit higher towards the ceiling. Just taking a moment or two to breathe into that space. And then we'll slowly release the hand back down to the floor, taking the left hand across to the right knee. Right hand can come behind, doing a nice gentle twist, looking over your right shoulder. And then slowly coming back to center, let's fold over the hips, bringing your head down towards the floor, checking in to see how your hips are feeling. Breathing all the way up that back body. And then coming back up, we'll cross our legs the other way. So if you're right leg was in front or your left leg, just switching them so the other leg is there. We'll bring our fingertips back down to the floor and gently just taking our ear, our right ear to our right shoulder, making any adjustments with your chin. And then slowly taking that left arm up towards the ceiling, nice and tall, and then bringing it over, keeping your sits bones firmly rooted to the mat, adjusting your elbow, maybe looking up towards the ceiling, breathing into your space in your rib cage. And then slowly bringing that hand back down, we'll take the right hand across to the left knee, left hand coming behind, and a nice gentle twist to start today. And then coming back to center, we'll fold over the hips, just to see how this side feels as you take a few breaths here. And then coming back up, swinging your legs around and coming onto your hands and knees. We're gonna start in child's pose. So getting your hips down towards your heels, stretching your arms out in front, 
Letting your head hang down towards the mat. Taking a few moments to allow yourself to settle. And on your next exhale, let's round into a nice black cat, getting your knees underneath your shoulder or underneath your hips. And then taking a nice inhale, we'll let our belly sink down as our head and tailbone come up. So just moving from a sway back cow to a round black cat, moving with your breath. Beautiful. Coming back to center, taking the left arm up towards the ceiling. We're going to thread it through, letting our head rest down to the mat, coming into a little thread the needle pose here. Taking a moment to breathe into any tight spots. And then coming back up, we'll do the other side. So taking that Right arm up towards the ceiling and then threading it through, resting your head and shoulder down to the floor. Taking a moment to settle. And then coming back up, coming back onto your hands and knees. We're going to take the right leg forward and just wiggling it forward so you get a nice stretch in that back leg in your hands on either side of your right knee if that works for you. Letting that deep psoas muscle stretch out in the left thigh. Then taking your right hand to the right knee, we're going to do a gentle twist here, looking over your right shoulder. Maybe your right knee comes out a little bit as you look over that shoulder. And with your left hand firmly planted on the mat, maybe bending that left foot, reaching back and grabbing hold of your foot if you can, getting a nice quad stretch. It's pretty intense. So just doing what feels right for you. And then release your hand from your foot, letting it float back down to the floor. We will walk our hands back and straighten out that right leg, bringing our nose towards the knee. And just taking a few moments, letting your hamstrings stretch out here. And then slowly coming forward, let's switch our legs. So we'll take the right leg back and bring the left foot forward, wiggling in a little bit deeper so that you can get that nice deep stretch on the top of the right leg. And just taking a few breaths. Allowing everything to relax and to settle. Planting your right hand. Let's bring our left hand to our left knee and gently looking over the left shoulder. Feeling your hips sinking a bit deeper. And then maybe bending that right leg, bringing the hand to your foot into a nice deep squat, uh, quad stretch here. And then release your hand, gently let that foot come back down to the floor, walking your fingers back, stretching out that left leg, and bringing your nose down towards your knee. And then we'll walk our fingers forward. Let's curl the back toe, lifting that knee up off the floor. And we'll just bring the right foot up to meet the left. You can bend your knees a little bit here as you hang over your hips. 
Letting your head sway, yes and no. Maybe hooking your hands into your elbows and swaying from side to side. And then coming back to center, back to stillness, uncrossing your arms, seeing if you can straighten your legs a little bit more. And then we'll bend the knees and slowly roll all the way up to stand, letting your shoulders roll down your back, standing up nice and tall, stacking everything up, knees above ankles, hips above knees, shoulders above your hips, and ears above your shoulders. Just feeling those feet on the mat, feeling them rooted into the earth, feeling nice and solid. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up towards the uh, ceiling, bringing your palms together and down to our heart. Breathing into your heart space and releasing. And then taking your right foot, we're going to cross it over the left. So standing up nice and tall, keeping your balance, making sure both feet are nice and solid on the mat. And squeeze the thighs together, keep your balance. We're gonna reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, bringing the palms together, and then slowly just folding over the hips, letting your hands hang down wherever they end up. Feeling that beautiful, intense strip, stretch all up that left side of your leg. And then squeezing the thighs together to keep your balance. We'll rise back up, bringing those palms all the way back up to the ceiling and then down to our heart. Beautiful. Let's uncross that leg and we get to do the other side. So taking the left leg and crossing it over and really making sure that your feet feel nice and solid. Remember that rooting down keeps us balanced. So feeling those feet on the floor and then we'll inhale reaching up and bringing the palms together as you exhale slowly lowering down and just checking in to see how this side feels feel a little bit different, a little tighter maybe. And then squeezing those thighs together, let's bring ourselves back up, nice big arms, and back down to our heart. And just uncrossing the legs, shaking them out, shake your arms out. Coming back into our mountain pose, now that our legs are all nicely stretched out, let's reach back up, and exhale, folding back over. Seeing if your hands can get a little closer to the mat now that your legs are stretched out. Taking a few moments just to relax here. And then we'll take our right leg back and then the left coming into a downward facing dog. So maybe pumping out one heel at a time. Getting those calves stretched out. Letting your head come down in between your arms. Fingers are nice and wide on the mat. And getting your heels down towards the floor. Hips rising up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to take the left leg up towards the ceiling, a little three-legged dog, maybe bending that knee and taking a few circles with your knee. And then the other direction. And then bringing the knee forward, we're going to bring that left foot forward and drop our right heel down so that the heels are lined up. 
And coming into our warrior two. So letting your arms stretch out, feeling yourself centered in between those arms. So not going too far forward into the future, too far back into the past, nice and balanced right in the center. Bending into that front knee, allowing your shoulders to relax. Maybe smiling here. Beautiful. Let's take a little bit of a reverse warrior, bringing the right hand to the right thigh, left arm reaching up, and just taking a few breaths into the front of the rib cage. Keeping your balance. And let's fold forward, left elbow on your knee. Right arm reaches up towards the front of your mat. Give you a nice big stretch here. Maybe taking your arm into a few circles. And taking it the other direction. And then we'll bring our hands down to the floor. We're going to walk our feet so that they're parallel to each other, making sure that your feet are at a good distance for you. And having your hands towards the floor, if your hands don't quite get there, maybe grabbing a pillow or something to prop them up. Letting your head relax down. Maybe shaking your head yes and no. And then setting your left hand in the center of the mat, right hand on top. We're going to reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, taking a breath here. And then exhale, bringing it back down. Breathing in and then exhale, taking the left arm up towards the ceiling. Breathing in here, and then exhale back down. Inhale, taking a breath, and then exhale, right arm up. And as you exhale, bringing it back down. So just moving back and forth on your exhales. Each time you bring your arm up, see if you can bring it up a little bit higher. And we'll do one more on each side. And letting your hands come back down to the mat. We're going to walk our hands to the back of our mat now, taking that right foot and facing it forward. And we're going to come into warrior two on this side. So stretching those arms back out. Beautiful. Relax your shoulders, sinking into that front knee, feeling nice and balanced in between your arms. And then we'll take the left hand to the left thigh, reaching up with the right arm, breathing into that space. And then folding forward, let's stretch the left arm forward. In a nice big side body stretch on the left side. Taking your arm into a few circles one way. And then the other. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands to the floor. Bring your knee back down. And we're just going to come into a seated position. You can have your legs out in front of you. Give them a little wiggle. Maybe point your toes and then flex them. And 
we'll bring our right knee in, letting that left leg stretch out. We're gonna reach all the way up towards the ceiling with our hands, and then exhale, folding down towards that straight leg. Just taking some time to settle here. back to the rhythm of your breath. And then slowly coming back up, bringing your right hand behind you. We're going to lift the hips off the floor, reaching the left arm up and over. Nice big stretch from your fingertips on your left hand to your left toes. And then gently bring yourself back down. Bringing the right knee up and then crossing it over. Come into a twist here, bringing the left arm around the knee, right arm behind. And looking over your right shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. Just imagine rooting down from your sits bones as you rise up with all those beautiful plants coming out of the soil. And then slowly unwind. We'll bring that right leg straight. We'll bend into the left leg and do the other side. So sitting up nice and tall, having your left knee relaxing down. Good. Let's reach all the way up towards the ceiling and then exhale, folding forward. Wherever your hands end up, just allow them to rest there. Focusing back on your breath. And then slowly making your way back. We'll take the left hand onto the mat, reach the right arm up as your hips come up. Nice big stretch from your fingers to your toes. And then easing your way back, bringing the left knee up and we'll cross this side over. Right arm comes around, left arm behind, looking over your left shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. And then slowly unwind. Let's bring uh, both knees bent, feet on the mat, making sure you have enough room behind you, and then lowering yourself nice and gently down. Setting your feet up so that they are positioned, heels underneath your knees, maybe uh, gently touching the back of your ankles. Spine is nice and long. And as you exhale, let's push into the heels, lifting up our hips, coming into our supported bridge pose, taking a few moments, breathing all the way into your belly, keeping those knees hip width apart, just feeling the weight in your heels. And then we'll slowly lower back down, feeling each of those little vertebrae touching down onto the mat. Bringing your right knee into your chest and stretching your left leg out. Maybe pointing and flexing your feet. Maybe making some circles with your ankles. 
And then switching sides, left knee in, right leg out. Again, just pointing and flexing, making a few circles. Bringing both knees in and maybe rocking from side to side. We'll bring our feet back down to the mat, taking the right ankle and crossing it over the left knee. We're gonna get into the hips here. So if this is an intense enough stretch for your hip as you push that right knee away from your body, you can stay just like this. Or if you want, you can thread the hands through and gently bring that left knee towards your chest. Breathing into any tight spots. And then release your hands. We'll get ready to do the other side. So taking the left ankle onto the right knee and just seeing how this side feels as you gently push your left knee away from your body. Maybe Threading your hands through and gently bringing that knee in. And sending some loving breath into any tight spots. Then we'll release the hands, bringing both feet back to the floor, letting your arms stretch out into a T shape. And gently letting your knees float down to, to the right, making any adjustments so that your shoulders can stay resting on the floor. And then taking your head to the left. Just sending your breath all the way down the length of your spine. Allowing your back to relax and to unlock. And then slowly bringing your head and your knees back to center and letting your knees float gently down to the left. And your head to the right. Same as the other side, just breathing all the way down the length of your spine. And letting go. Bring our head and knees back to center, placing a hand on each knee, bringing them in to your chest. And maybe making some circles with your knees. And then the other direction. And then we'll stretch our legs all the way out towards the floor, nice and wide. Maybe taking your arms overhead. Taking a nice, big, full belly breath in. Ah, letting out a sigh as you exhale. And let's let our hands float down by our sides, coming into our final pose, closing your eyes. Just checking in to see how you're feeling. Feeling all that beautiful energy flowing through your body. vibrant, alive. And just allowing the muscles to relax here. Allowing all the muscles in your feet, your legs to relax. Hips sinking deeper. All the muscles in your back. 
fully supported and relaxing. Shoulders, arms, relaxed. Feeling all the muscles in your face softening. Eyes closed. And I'd like to share a little passage from a book called Go In and In by Dana Feldes. It says, single-celled elegance. Successful microbes mutate. They see an evolutionary need, become the seed that spawns a different being. They seize chance opportunities, try new paths, have no fear of changing appearances. These single cells hold the keys to transformation. They equate stagnation with death and see that releasing form is the only way to enter into essence. Just slowly wiggling your fingers and toes. Bringing your knees in, rolling to your side, coming all the way back up to our seated position. Bringing your hands together at your heart center. Let's take a collective breath in and breath out. Thank you all for practicing with me today. I wish you a fantastic day. Namaste.